Kemira has published its first quarter 2022 results. Mikko, our head of investor relations, will give us a brief summary of the results. Hello, Mikko. Hi, Tina. Uh, the start of the year has been extremely exceptional. The war in Ukraine and the COVID-19 pandemic re- deteriorated in China. But still, Kemira had a strong start to the year. Indeed, we had a strong start to the year and uh, the war in Ukraine had limited impacts on, on our Q1 performance. Um, and we, we had a strong start to the year. But if I think about the, sort of our markets, so despite the uncertainty related to the war in Ukraine and the COVID-19 lockdowns in China, end market demand remained good during the first quarter. And then if I think about our revenue, so that grew to a record high of 768 million euros. And this was really driven by high sales prices and also our operative EBITDA that reached a record high level of 120 million euros. On the other hand, our relative profitability, so the operative EBITDA margin, that declined slightly, and that was due to sort of continued strong inflationary pressures, which also intensified during the first quarter of the year. If I look at the segments, pulp and paper, the larger segment, so revenue growing by 21%. This was driven by good demand in all product groups and in all regions. Uh, and also on this part, the operative EBITDA margin, so the relative profitability, declined slightly to 16% due to the inflationary pressures. Industry and water, the other segment, revenue grew by 36%, so strong growth there. Demand in water treatment continued to be good. And on the oil and gas front, we saw strong demand in shale, driven by the high, high oil price. And also here, the relative profitability, so the operative EBITDA margin, that declined slightly to 15.2 due to the inflationary pressures. We are shocked to witness a humanitarian crisis in Ukraine caused by the war. Uh, how will the war impact Kemira? If we dis- disregard the humanitarian suffering and crisis in Ukraine and focus on the impacts on, on Kemira, so we do expect the direct impacts on Kemira to be limited. So in, in early March, we discontinued deliveries to Russia and, and Belarus, and Russia accounted for around 3% of our revenues in, in 2021. And on the purchasing side, so we do purchase some, some raw materials from Russia and Belarus, uh, but uh, in the big picture, these are small, so they're around 1% of our total material and, 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 and logistics costs in, in, in 2021. We are a significant energy user, uh, so that means that we are uh, exposed and uh, to a certain extent to fluctuations in energy price and availability, uh, and we have seen this during the first quarter of the year. Indirectly, the war could have an impact on us via our customers and suppliers. So the high energy prices could mean that our customers and suppliers are forced to sort of temporarily reduce or stop their production at their facilities. But during the first quarter of the year, we didn't really see any uh, any material signs of this yet. But overall, I would say accelerated inflation. We expect that to be the largest risk uh, from the war in Ukraine. And as mentioned, so we already saw accelerated inflation during the first quarter of the year, partly driven, driven by the war in Ukraine. How does the rest of the year look like? If I think about the rest of the year, so market uncertainty, as mentioned, increased during the first quarter due to the war, due to COVID-19. And as, as a part of this, inflation uh, intensified and looking forward. So we do expect the market uh, sort of conditions to remain uncertain. And we do expect the inflationary environment to remain strong for the rest of the year. But our outlook as such for this year remains uh, unchanged. We have only specified uh, the the assumptions behind our outlook. So we do continue to expect our revenue to grow uh, from 2021. And an operative EBITDA, uh, we expect that to to be within plus minus 5% of the operative EBITDA in, in 2021. Thank you for the interview, Mikko. Hopefully we are heading towards better times. Thank you, Tina. Let's hope so.